as soon as possible. And he was telling me that um, I was just going to keep driving. And he said, we're going to die tonight. You and me, we're going to die tonight. A poor Clinton woman's brave act to call 911 may have saved her life after she was kidnapped by a New York man. And we first brought you this is breaking news this morning. Stephen Jackson was the only reporter to speak with the victim and has her chilling story. I'm here where it all started. It was like a scene from a movie. A woman offered a man who she thought was in need a ride, but soon after that ride took a bad turn. Hello, 911. This is the 911 call from a kidnapping that started at 1.30 Monday morning in Port Clinton. Nicole Kaufman made the brave call after she offered this man, Eric Thomas, a ride to the hospital. She says he was sweating and looked like he needed help. But moments after getting in the car, she says everything changed. And he was telling me that... Um, I was just going to keep driving, and he said, we're going to die tonight. You and me, we're going to die tonight. A calm Nicole pulls out her phone to dial 911. Then Thomas suspects something fishy. Where that phone? Where that phone? Where that phone? I don't know. I can't see The two fight over the phone while she's driving, and it falls where neither can reach it. The entire time, dispatch is listening and uses their phase 2 911 system that uses the phone's GPS to get their exact location. Then the Ottawa County Sheriff's Office attempts to pull the car over. As soon as he punched me and they started pulling my hair because I started leaning toward the door, I was going to try to open the door. Well, the door was locked and I didn't realize it. And uh, I tried it one more time and the door opened and I just kind of pushed myself out. I fell back and I can still see myself falling backwards out of the van while it was still moving. Thomas then jumps in the driver's seat and leads officers on a chase along State Route 2 and Curtis Road until spike strips were deployed that disabled the van. Shortly after, Thomas was arrested. Nicole has three boys and has been married to her husband, Steve, for 14 years. She says she's happy to be home. Oh, I don't want to be the person that if someone genuinely needs help, I don't help them. That's I have to help people. I want to help people. So... I mean, you could have been dead tonight from doing it. Right, but I guess I would make sure I was much more cautious. In Port Clinton, I'm Stephen Jackson. Nicole was treated and released from the hospital with minor injuries. You can watch her full interview on ToledoNewsNow.com. Wow. Incredible story. I guess. And just trying to do the right thing, too. Yeah. So.